it's the final countdown. There is only one week left until A-level results come out. I know some of you are excited, some of you are nervous. So let's talk about what you can do in this final week to prepare for A-level results day. Hi everyone and welcome to Miss Estrick Biology. My name's Miss Estrick and I've been teaching for over 10 years. And I'm here to help you to get to grips with those most challenging skills in biology improve your study skills techniques and help you to get the grades that you deserve. And today we're thinking about what can you do in this final week before A-level exam results come out. I'm going to talk you through four key things that you could be doing in this week to help make sure that exam results day goes as smoothly as possible. So let's start with number one having a plan B ready. And you might have heard me talk about this idea of plan Bs when I did my exam stress video. And the idea is that you have a plan B ready, as the name suggests, and hopefully you won't need it. I'm really hoping that for all of you, when you get to results day next Thursday, you get the grades that you need for the universities that you wanted to, and you're all gonna be cheering and really happy. But the reality is we know that doesn't happen for everyone. And just in case that does happen for you, it will really help if you've already got a plan B in place on the day. So let's talk plan Bs. If you're wanting to go to a particular university to study a particular course and you don't get those grades, have a think in this week, what will you do? And that might be you will then look on clearing to see what universities you could go to with those grades for the courses that you're interested in having the phone numbers ready to call up those universities, seeing if they do agree to take you, then head back onto UCAS and apply. Your next thing might be, well, maybe you've had a look at clearing and they don't have any courses or universities that you would be interested in going to. And then your plan C would be take a gap year. And you can start to have a very little think about if you were going to take a gap year, what might you do? Would it be traveling? Would it be getting some work experience, paid job, those sorts of things. So have a plan B or maybe even a plan C in place. Tip number two is have all of the vital information written down on paper and ready to go. And when I say the vital information, what I mean is you need to have written down the admission numbers for the universities that you have applied for. So for all of the universities, write down the name of the university and the admissions phone number. The reason for this is if you don't get the grades that you needed, one of the first things you could do is call the admissions team, tell them what grades you did get and see will they actually still take you or they might come up with some agreement of if you get a retake, if you were close to the board and you do go up, then they'll take you. So that'd be your first thing to do is call through all of the universities you applied for, particularly the ones that did give you an offer. Now they'll also want to have some personal information linked to that. So have written down your UCAS number and a clearing number as well. And you can find both of those on UCAS track. Now I do strongly recommend you have this on paper, not on your phone, because you're gonna need your phone to make the phone calls and it's just easier if you've got it there on paper, multiple people can have access and you can all start phoning at the same time to try and speed it up. My third tip is understand how clearing works in this week. You don't wanna be working it out on the day because that is gonna waste valuable time. Now there's different things you can do. The best thing I'd recommend is just head to the UCAS website and search for clearing. And there's actually lots of videos they've already put on there with interviews talking about how clearing works and what you could do. So that's my top tip. But a brief summary of how it works. Clearing is just a list of universities and the courses that still have spaces. It's already open now, but you can't apply until you have your results and more spaces will become available on results day as people don't get the grades and their space then becomes available. So what you would need to do is have a look on clearing. They also have clearing plus this year and you would just look through to see are there any courses and universities that you like the sound of. They'll then provide you with a phone number or give you directions to call the university directly. You then would have to phone and then discuss what grades you did get and the university will then decide whether they will give you a place. Once the university has agreed, only then can you go back to clearing and apply for that course, and then the universities will get the notification and they will then accept you onto the course. So that's a very brief overview of how clearing works, but definitely read up on this during this week so you know exactly what to expect, if you need it. 
Okay, so my final tip, you've got one week to go and I know lots of you getting really anxious, nervous about the day and you can't stop thinking about it. And that's why my fourth tip is, once you've done the other three things that I've said, try and forget about results day. And the best way to do that is be busy. Book lots of fun things to do this week and make sure you're packing in as much as possible. All your friends are in the same situation. So let's get a fun week plan to distract yourself so you are not sat at home just thinking about university, UCAS, what if, worst case scenarios. Try and make sure you can enjoy this last week before results day. So that's it, my four tips of what to do in this final week. Now, if you do want a few more ideas, in this case, particularly of what to do to prepare for university, then check out the video that I'm gonna link at the end here, where I talk about the things that I wish I'd known before university that would have made it so much smoother. So definitely check out that video to get a heads up on what university life is like. But for now, that's it. So click that like button and subscribe to keep up to date on all of my latest videos.